Noticed, for example, when you're shopping and face so many decisions, you're worn out by the end of the shopping trip. That's something called decision fatigue, and it happens anytime we face too many choices. But certified life coach Dr. Marlene Boaz says we can learn to combat that with a few easy tricks. Good morning. Good morning. So, 35,000 decisions is something we make every day. That's the estimate, and when you think about it, you have to decide, you know, when to get up, to when to brush your teeth, when to do this, when to do that. So we make just tens of thousands of decisions a day. It makes sense. And as a parent, we're not just making them for right. ourselves. We're making them for little human beings as well. And every decision you make takes brain power, even if you're not aware of it or not. So you can do too much, and then you get decision fatigue. Well, one of your suggestions, too, is to uncomplicate things mm -hmm. a little bit. Right. So decisions that aren't that important, you know, you, you simplify your life. For instance, a lot of um, CEOs are now starting to not have to make decisions about their wardrobe. They might buy three of the same suit and wear it every day. We think of Steve Jobs with his black turtleneck. He didn't have to decide what to wear because as we go through the day, our decisions, if we get fatigue, our decisions get less and less thoughtful and they can be compromised a little bit. So if you make it easier on yourself, your decision-making power stays longer. So something like making weekly meal plans, mm -hmm. you say, as well. Right, right. Weekly meal plans, getting routines, getting set routines, that cuts down on your having to make decisions. You also say to prioritize your decisions. Right. Which decisions are really important and warrant time and thoughtfulness? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we expend, I mean, we have a finite amount of energy. Right. And so you have to think about how you're going to spend that energy. And so prioritize your decisions. If you have a day that's going to be full of really big decisions, perhaps at work, at home, whatever, then you don't want to spend a lot of time on small ones, you know, that don't really, aren't really that impactful. Like don't sweat the small stuff. Don't, it's thing. true, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, and you say consider your decision making style as well. And this, and this is so true. I feel like there are categories yes, of people. Yes, there are. So there's the maximizer. And what and, is I mean, one? it's a continuum. Right. So the maximizer is the one who wants to make the perfect decision, over analyzes, thinks about everything, collects data, yeah. really goes over, um, questions whether they're going to make the best decision for themselves or not. And so, you know, that's for important decisions, that's certainly an impor important way to go. But for others, you might not need to spend that much energy. Because what happens is if you're trying to make the perfect decision, once you make it, you're always sort of looking in the rear view mirror, should I have done something else? So it's anxiety provoking. Yeah. See, I've been that person before. I've been in the grocery store aisle Googling things to make sure that I'm buying the right product, even something that simple. And you're saying maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. And it is more complicated now because we have so many more choices. Yeah. And then on the other end of the continuum are the satisf satisficers. That's a combination of satisfy and suffice. Okay. So you set some baseline criteria. And once you meet it, you're there. So you're not looking for the perfect one. You're looking for one that meets your needs. And adjust accordingly. Yeah. Is if you're looking for toothpaste, you know. Just buy it. Well, and you, you want one because you have sensitive gums. Well, the first one you find that does that, you do that. Okay. Okay? Instead of looking at all the ones that do that. You're helping me a little bit this morning. <laughs> Good, thank you. Um, you say indecision is stressful. It is stressful. Think about that when you have had a decision just swirling around in your mind for some time. You sort of had this open feedback loop, and you spend a lot of time and energy as you're trying to decide. And it is stressful. And so how do you minimize that? Because sometimes decisions that we make have a long-lasting impact. Right. Those are the ones that you should be very thoughtful about and take time. But you shouldn't make decisions when you're tired or hungry. Mm, that's true. So if you have a big one, make sure you're well, well prepared to make the decision. You should also surround yourself with people who you can trust who will be honest with you. Right. And give you some input. Okay. And um, hungry and tired, why are those two... Well, like I said, making decisions takes brain power. Right. So if you haven't eaten and you're, you know, the chemicals in your working right, you're not going to make really good decisions. Think about uh, when you go to the grocery store. What's at the end? There's sugary drinks, candy bars. You know, you've gone through, made all kind of decisions of what you're going to buy. And then at the end, you're like, oh, I don't care. I should have a carrot, but I'm just going to grab this candy bar. So marketers kind of know that we have decision fatigue. Right. Good tips. Good. Like I said, you helped me out a little bit this morning. Good. <laughs> Thanks to certified life coach Marlene Vo as a regular PTL contributor. And for more life coach tips, check out Marlene's monthly newsletter. You'll find that link at kdk.com slash PTL.